Now that the MacBook Air and the Mac Mini feature Thunderbolt 3, that means that the majority of Apple's Mac computers support Thunderbolt 3 I.O. With this in mind, we want to look at some of the best Thunderbolt 3 accessories that you can buy today. That of course includes Thunderbolt 3 docks that can recharge your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air and that give you a whole lot of extra ports. It also includes eGPUs of course, along with things like bus powered audio interfaces and super fast external SSDs. If you have a Mac with Thunderbolt 3, you don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the Promise Pegasus 3 Direct Attach Storage Solution. It comes with a pair of Thunderbolt 3 ports which allows you to daisy chain additional devices. And this particular R6 model features 6 drive bays. And you can use traditional spinning hard drives or you can use 2.5 inch SSDs if you wish to do so. Now the high-end R8 version of the Promise Pegasus 3 allows you to store up to 80 terabytes in a single unit. Now of course this is a RAID enclosure so you have to keep that in mind, factor that in when calculating the amount of storage space that you will have. But the point is this thing can be blazing fast depending on how you configure it and it's perfect for editing super high bitrate, super high resolution video directly off the enclosure. And the beauty of Thunderbolt 3 is that now there's just so many different types of devices. We were just talking about storage, now we're talking about audio interfaces. This is the Universal Audio Arrow, a Thunderbolt 3 bus powered audio interface, two XLR inputs on the back, but more importantly, you have those UAD2 plugins that can alter your voice or an instrument in real time. This is one of those Thunderbolt 3 devices that I use day in and day out. Check out the full review for more details. Now of all the Thunderbolt 3 devices on this list, this is arguably my favorite device. This is the CalDigit TS3 Plus. Now you may have noticed that I have the Space Gray version of the CalDigit TS3 Plus in my hands right now. But more importantly is the amount of I.O. offered by this device. You see on the front you have a UHS-2 SD card reader, tons of I.O. on the back including two Thunderbolt 3 ports. So you can actually pass through to a Thunderbolt 3 enabled 5K display like the LG Ultrafine and it's going to recharge your MacBook Pro at full speed, even 15 inch models. The bottom line is that if you need to add more ports to your Mac, this is one of the best ways to do so. EGPUs make up one of the biggest reasons why you should be excited about Thunderbolt 3. It allows devices like this, the Sonnet eGraphics Breakaway Box 650, to interface directly with your Mac, boosting its graphics capabilities multiple times over via a single Thunderbolt 3 connection. And of course, this particular chassis has a 650 watt power supply. This is actually the unit that Apple recommends for the top end AMD GPUs that Macs support, like the Vega 64 or the WX9100 from AMD. If you want to play it safe with an Apple recommended eGPU, this is the one for you. However, I have to say I personally prefer the Razer Core X, even though it isn't on Apple's recommended list, this is, in my opinion, the best bang for your buck. It too has a 650 watt power supply that can drive the most power hungry cards out there, but what really makes me like the Razer Core X is the design. It's designed so well, so thoughtfully, it makes it a breeze to install and remove cards with ease without any tools. I'm telling you, the design is awesome. Now speaking of design, the Blackmagic eGPU is the best looking external graphics chassis on this list by far. However, it is the worst value. Starting at $700 for an RX 580, it's a terrible value. However, there are several reasons why you might consider this. Number one, it's dead quiet even when under load. Number two, it features Intel's Titan Ridge Thunderbolt 3 controller, which means you can output to a 5K Thunderbolt 3 enabled display via that second Thunderbolt 3 port. Yes, as far as power to price ratio is concerned, it's a bad value, but it's still a compelling unit due to its design, its second Thunderbolt 3 port, and because it's whisper quiet. The iMac Pro and custom configurations of the Mac Mini have 10 gigabit Ethernet built in. But what if you need 10 gigabit Ethernet on a Mac that doesn't have it? That's where Akitio's T3 10G comes in. It's a 10 gigabit Ethernet Thunderbolt 3 adapter that's bus powered. 
So if you wanna add 10 gigabit ethernet to your MacBook Air or your MacBook Pro, you can do it with this adapter. For instance, here in this example, I'm connecting to a Synology NAS via 10 gigabit ethernet using Akitio's T3 10G adapter. It's super simple, super easy, and it just works. Another Akitio adapter that features 10 gigabit ethernet is the Thunder 3 Dock Pro. Now this unit is not bus powered, but when you look at the amount of IO in it, you understand why. This is a true dock. It features lots of ports, including dual Thunderbolt 3, 10 gigabit ethernet, UHS-2 SD card, and something you don't see that often, that being CFast 2.0. There's also USB-A, eSATA, and DisplayPort. The OWC Express 4M2 is a device that I use each and every day. It's where I store all of the video that I'm currently working on. It's an M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure capable of housing up to 8 terabytes that you can access via a Thunderbolt 3 connection. So here's one of the 2 terabyte M.2 SSDs for, get this, a total of 8 terabytes in a RAID 0 configuration. So that gives you a ton of super fast storage space in a compact form factor that's perfect for editing high quality, high bitrate video. And speaking of video editing, LG's ultra wide 5K 2K display is primed for timeline based apps like Final Cut Pro 10, where you benefit from having extra horizontal real estate. This is an upgrade over a traditional 4K display. It's not an upgrade over a 5K display though, so keep that in mind. It's not exactly 5K, it is more like 4.5K. What I really like about this display though is that it features, of course, Thunderbolt 3. That's the whole theme of this video. This is a Thunderbolt 3 enabled display, so with a single Thunderbolt 3 connection, you can connect your Mac Mini, your MacBook Pro, your MacBook Air, your iMac at the display's full native 5120 by 2160 resolution. That's awesome. Now, if you're looking for a true 5K display that offers Thunderbolt 3, you basically have one option right now, and that is the LG Ultrafine 5K display. Not to be confused with the Ultra Wide, this is the Ultra Fine. Now, what I don't like about this display is that it's Thunderbolt 3 only, so you can't connect a display port connection to it. There's no HDMI. It's Thunderbolt 3 only, which obviously presents some limitations as far as what you can actually directly connect to this display. So that is for sure worth keeping in mind. If you need a way to connect your Mac to two 4K displays at 60 Hz, then Elgato's Thunderbolt 3 mini dock is up to the task. It features DisplayPort and HDMI connectivity, and it has a built-in Thunderbolt 3 cable tucked in the bottom of the unit. That's super handy so you don't have to worry about carrying along a cable with you because it's permanently built into the unit. The dock also features USB Type-A and Gigabit Ethernet. So I've connected an HDMI and DisplayPort cable, and these go to two 4K external displays that run at 60 Hz. So there's one, and there's two. And the nice thing is Elgato's mini dock is completely bus powered, making it an ideal solution for connecting to external displays on the go. Next up is Samsung's X5 Thunderbolt 3 SSD. Samsung has the reputation for making excellent external SSDs and this is no exception. The X5 features read speeds up to 2800 megabytes per second. In other words, it feels closer to the speed of the internal SSD in your Mac rather than an external SATA 3 SSD. That makes the X5 suitable for 4K, 5K, 6K, even 8K video workflows. The closest competitor to the Samsung X5 is the G Drive Mobile Pro Thunderbolt 3 SSD. It too features up to 2800 megabytes per second read. So the big takeaway here is that we now have options. Thanks to Thunderbolt 3, we now have external storage that can sometimes rival the internal storage on your Mac. And because this drive is also bus powered, it's perfect for travel. Now the last item on our list is actually a Thunderbolt 3 cable. This is Caldigit's active Thunderbolt 3 2 meter cable. There's a misconception that longer cables automatically means worse performance, but that's not necessarily the case as long as you have an active cable from a reputable brand. These active cables work just as fast as the regular passive shorter cables, and you get a whole lot more placement flexibility. 
So ladies and gents, as you've seen from this video, Thunderbolt 3 has made significant strides over the last few years. There's tons of accessories out there available and the majority of new Macs that Apple sells today features Thunderbolt 3 IO. So did you find something on this list that piqued your interest? If so, leave us a thumbs up and let me know what you think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.